morning to one and all now i am going to discuss about the third semester paper yoga therapy so yoga therapy means yogic way of treatment according to the basic principles asana pranayama diet meditation and relaxation techniques we have to give a model generally yoga is for all the ages is for everyone from the childhood days we have to start the practice yoga therapy is in the form of three phases one is preventive aspect then treatment then the third one is curing so maintaining or controlling the second one first one is a preventive aspect the second one is maintaining or controlling the present symptoms the third one is curing so if you are going to practice continuously for the year together definitely we will get the good result so today we are going to discuss about role of yoga on diabetes mellitus so therapy is a system of self treatment mal functioning of the body system is diseases due to the imbalanced internal condition due to certain errors of the individuals then individual is responsible for both cause and cure of the diseases so we are responsible for the cause and we are also responsible for the curing with regard to diabetes so this is the image called pancreas pancreas diabetes mellitus is a disease state in which pancreas not functioning normally that is no sufficient insulin is produced and the body is not capable to manage its food intake properly that is body metabolism get disturbed now we are going to discuss about what are the yogic management that is the role of yoga in diabetes mellitus why i am taking this topic because in india is the leading country for the diabetes in 1995 1.5 crores in 1998 2.5 crores so it is expected 2025 6 crores so diabetes is a metabolic disorder it is a defect in the body's ability to convert glucose that is sugar to energy so glucose is the main source of energy for our body when foods are digested some of those foods like carbohydrates are converted to glucose which is transferred to the blood stream and is um, absorbed by the cells for energy so this is the process in order for glucose to be transferred from the blood to the cells the hormone insulin is needed so insulin is produced by the beta cells in the pancreas in individuals with diabetes this process is impaired that is damaged or weakened so that hormone insulin secreted by the pancreas is deficient in quantity that is why we invite type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes and gestational diabetes like this so there are generally two types of diabetes mellitus type 1 that is iddm insulin dependent diabetes mellitus so nowadays we call only type 1 type 2 or juvenile onset diabetes here diabetes is developed most frequently by the children and teenagers the patients belonging to this category that is type 1 category how their pancreas damaged due to the virus infection in such cases 
the cells producing insulin normally get destroyed therefore it becomes essential to get insulin injected from outside so it is called as insulin dependent diabetes it can occur at any age though it most commonly occurs during the younger age so this is the image showed for giving insulin injection so as per doctor says it's a feel like a mosquito bite the second type of diabetes is called type 2 that is non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus simply called as nidm or maturity onset so this type is more common than type 1 diabetes so about 95 to 98% of diabetic patients fall in this class in this category this type of diabetes mostly occurs in people uh, who are over 40 and overweight so many causes are there generally occur after the age of 40 due to the sedentary life ella uh, that is uh, uh, we are going to see the causes and symptoms also in this type of patients insulin is produced in the body but its quantum is lower than required so this type of diabetes can be controlled by proper food exercise and yogic practices the third one is called gdm that is gestational diabetes mellitus so about 2 to 5% of all pregnancies it happen so gestational diabetes also involves a combination of inadequate insulin secretion resembling type 2 diabetes in several aspects it develops during the pregnancy time and may improve or disappear after delivery even though it may be gestational diabetes may damage the health of the fetus or mother and about 20 to 50% of women with gestational diabetes develop type 2 diabetes later in their life it is fully temporary fully treatable but if untreated it may cause problems with the pregnancies like high birth weight fetal malformation congenital heart diseases etc it requires a careful medical supervision during the pregnancy period but purely temporary definitely it will get rid of after the delivery time so now we are going to give general causes for the type 1 diabetes due to the genetic factor mainly then environmental factors which includes diet stress frustration so stress is the predisposing factor for all the almost all the diseases here the another one is called infection so infection of the eyelids of long hands so eyelids that is it is a gland which secrete the hormone insulin this may be due to the viral infection such as mumps chicken pox measles or viral hepatitis so eyelids of long hands is a endocrine gland which produce insulin hormone which controls the blood sugar level so when infected means we have to invite the type 1 diabetes so mostly rarely occur this type of infection cases but due to the diet and genetic factors is um, main causes for the type 1 diabetes then causes for the type 2 diabetes that is a high blood pressure so if you are controlling blood pressure means no issues but it cannot control means the main reason for uh, inviting diabetes is a blood pressure that, that is silent killer then high blood triglycerides or fat levels then high fat diet then high alcohol intake then sedentary lifestyle lack of exercise that is lack of physical activity 
the main cause for type 2 is obese or being overweight the type 2 diabetes may affect all parts of the body causing serious complications so we have to take care of this one because um, if uh, having the continuously type 2 diabetes long long to year uh, almost uh, 5 to 10 years means uh, such consequences are atherosclerosis retinopathy neuropathy some numbness foot problems etc so automatically it affects eye heart kidneys and nervous system in comparison to the healthy man the possibility of having high blood pressure and ailment of heart two to three times more for a diabetic patient so diabetic patient easily can affect the heart diseases so that is why we have to take the preventive aspect then obese so so this uh, image shows that is um, digestive system gets strike is a strong predisposing factor in middle age diabetes and obese so it affects in the middle age onwards then these are the common symptoms symptom based only we have to finalize the diagnosis so common symptoms of the diabetes mellitus for both that is a polyuria that is a frequency of urination excess urination then polyphagia that is excessive hunger then polydipsia that is excessive thirst adikadi sirineer kalithal adhiga pasi adhiga thaagam then frozen shoulder that is pain in the shoulder so the, during the strain uh, we have uh, invite the frozen shoulder but oftenly if you are having the uh, pain in the shoulder means we have to check the blood glucose level then letharginess that is tiredness then the main is unexplained weight loss suddenly we have to reduce our weight 5 to 10 kg means we have to check our blood glucose level then infections in a particular skin that is we have some small small abscess over the skin so we thought due to the heavy summer we are having this type of uh, abscess but oftenly we are having such a kind of con, uh, infection means we have to take investigations so then fatigue so that is also lack of oxygen then poor wound healing so blood division also one of the symptom so normally the fasting level of blood glucose is less than 90 mg per deciliter 70 to 100 and postprandial after 2 hours is less than 120 mg per deciliter the postprandial sugar level is in between 140 to 200 mg per deciliter it is impaired tolerance if above 200 mg means it is frank diabetes 200 and above means frank diabetes so better we have doctors usually advised you to take gtt that is a glucose tolerant test the percentage of diabetic patient all over the world is increasing day by day so diabetes is the third widespread and serious diseases of um, in india after the heart attack uh, heart diseases or uh, cancer and all so we need energy to carry out any activity by the body so we have to be very careful uh, to care of our health as well as um, body mind everything so now we are going to focus on the yogic management so type 1 diabetes is caused by no production of insulin and this is a very little bit difficulty to treat this with the yogic uh, practices but type 2 diabetes definitely which is caused by the lifestyle modification or the stress related diseases can be effectively treated with yoga type 1 is also definitely we have to prevent and type 2 also we have to maintain and curing the diseases definitely so type 1 also we have to control our diabetic level so uh, if you are controlling the diabetes level means definitely we should not invite other consequences like heart diseases and other obes and all we have to maintain our body in a healthy manner so diabetes being one of the important stress related disorder mainly 
So generally yoga is uh, suited for both the types. So here the in insulin dependent diabetes mellitus asanas help to prevent an increase in the insulin requirement. Then the second one is uh, type 2 that is the NIDDM non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. Here asanas help to normalize the blood sugar due to the high intensity workout. So the initially uh, uh, the patient can start the practices without stopping the medicines or injections. So after practicing yoga for 3 or 4 weeks then we have to get advice of the physicians concerned then we have to get opinion from them gradually reduce the taking medicines. So regular yoga practice helps to increase glucose utilization. So it also helps to attain the ideal body weight. It develops the stamina and provide the sense of well-being for that reason definitely we have to concentrate the yogic management. The specific practices for the diabetes whom chanting prayer. So here the yoga is not based on the religion. So that we have to take a breath in and out part by part. That is uh, om means we have to chant a u yim that is called om ahara uhara mahara. So a plus u plus m equal to om. So it, it um, believes in all the religions also we have uh, in prayer uh, ending with the im sound. So we have to take a breathe in breathe out part by part. So a means we have to produce the sound by the novel region. Then who may have, what about the after chanting it vibrates the abdomen region likewise. Now I am going to have a demo Om chant means uh, first concentrate on the uh, environment and all just sitting position you have to sit comfortably then adopt chin mudra in both the hands and uh, close your eyes sit in any position that is Vajrasana or Sugasana or Bhatmasana. Sit in a prayer pose, then you have to concentrate on the abdomen region with the chin mudra. Slowly breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly concentrate on your abdomen region. Take a deep breath. Chant Agara. Ah. Now you feel the vibration on the abdomen region. Now you have to concentrate on the thoracic region and adapt Chinmaya Mudra and place middle part of your body, middle part of your thigh. Then slowly concentrate on your breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Slowly take a deep breath, chant U, produce the sound U. U. the vibration on the thoracic region then feel the vibration on the throat region also then slowly concentrate from the throat to head region adapt Adi Mudra place on root of our thighs close your eyes slowly observe breathe in breathe out inhale Exhale, inhale, exhale. 
Aen. Take a deep breath, chant Mahara, produce the sound Im. You feel the vibration on the head region. Slowly release. Again, Brahma Mudra, adapt Brahma Mudra. Place on your navel region. Slowly concentrate from abdomen to head region. After taking a deep breath, we have to chant A, O, M continuously with the equal ratio. Now take a deep breath. A, O, M. Now you have to take a deep breath, chant Umka. Exhale slow and continuously. Release. So, this is Om chanting prayer. By doing this practice, the wavering of the mind inward and helps to steady the same, quietening our mind. So, try to withdraw the wavering mind and helps to steady the same. So, automatically what happens? It induces the positive thinking. So, for that reason we have to start with chanting, Om chanting. So, this is part by part breathing, breathe out. So, combined process of Ahara, Uhara, Mahara. The next practice is Sun Salutation. It is a very good practice, Sun, Surya. Salutation means Namaskar, Surya Namaskar. So, sun salutation is a very good practice for people suffering from diabetes, obese, etc. So, what happened? It increases the blood supply to various parts of the body and improving the insulin administration in the body. So, for that reason, we have to add the sun salutation. It has a 12, 12 spine counts. So, it is a series of 12 poses which helps to improve the strength and flexibility of the muscles and the sp spinal column. So, we have to take this practice in the open place better. So, so many benefits are there by doing the practice in the open place we are uh, getting the vitamin D synthesis of vitamin D and um, this pose also warm up the body and tones up the abdomen muscles. It automatically invigorates the whole body by exercising each and every part of the body. It helps to burn out the excessive calories. So, there are 12 uh, postures, 8 asanas. First one is a prayer pose, the starting pose again, then followed by Pirayasana, count number 1, count number 2. Pada Hasta Asana, Kau number 3, Ashwa Sanchala Asana, Kau number 4, Tuvibada Dandasan, then Kau number 5, Sashangasan, Kau number 6, Sashtanga Namaskar, Kau number 7, Bhujang Asan, Kau number 8, Parvad Asan, 9, again repeat. Sashangasana, 
count number 10 again ashwa sanchalasan count number 11 pada hastasana count number 12 again pirayasan so sashangasana some schools of thoughts are in adding some school of thoughts are not having but if you are doing with the sashangasana definitely it will be helpful for the relaxation in between time also these are the 12 poses consisting of 8 asanas that is surya namaskar then come to the next part asana so in um, asanas you know all um, that is the various types of asanas are there there are 84 lakhs of asanas are there according to father of yoga saint maharishi padanchari says sthiram sugam asan sthiram means steadiness suga means comfortable asana means posture comfortable steady posture we have to do the asanas with a comfortable manner so we have to do the asanas with stability then after day taking the practice of asana internal organs are get stretched stretching the various glands and uh, increases the blood supply and oxygen supply also. So, yogasanas are uh, special patterns of the body that stabilizes the mind through the static stretching habit. So, it is a, um, asanas are playing a significant role uh, in toning up the neuromuscular and uh, glandular systems of the body to restore and uh, maintain the vitality of different organs of the body also is a beneficial treatment of diabetes mellitus and important aspect of asana is uh, that is uh, after attaining position one needs to relax all the muscles and try to maintain the positions for long. The due to the various uh, twisting and stretching and strains in the body the internal organs are stretched. Simply what we are doing now we have to sit on the chair hours together doing the work but in between we have to do some stretching uh, other uh, relaxative posture also. So, automatically this increase the blood supply, oxygen supply to the organs, increase the efficiency and the functioning of the organs also. Here I have suggested a general module start with the starting position Tadasana, then this is the Triyanga Tadasana, Triyanga Tadasana that is um, uh, here the posture is there by lateral bending asana we have to interlocking our fingers and raise our arms and lateral bending asana then the second is ardha kati chakrasana sometimes if you are first week is two weeks you have to take triyanga tadasana and after that you have to take a practice of ardha kati chakrasana so this is also very comfortable posture lateral bending asana uh, we have to um, take a breathing process also. Asana is a combined breathing as well as a posture. We have to take a inhale, then move our arms. Uh, again, you have to take a exhale. Then with the normal position, you have to maintain the final pose. So, the first we have to keep in starting position, legs together, hands side up your body. Then from this position, you have to take step by step. So, this is lateral bending asana. Ardha Kati Chakrasana. Then this is a triangle pose called Trikonasan. So this is also very good a rich blood supply from the um, uh, hip region to um, head region. So it, it maintain the weight also. Um, lower limbs get a rich blood supply also. Uh, then it improve the digestion problem. Uh, improve the sorry improve the digestive disorders and it's a very good for the spine movement also and automatically it activates the internal organs and massages the pancreas it produces the more uh, uh, insulin secretion absorption from the food then, then come to the sitting position called dandasana so this is also one of the important uh, aspect we have to sit comfortably then this is the starting position of uh, sitting position then you have to use with the props yoga therapy generally if not doing properly means we should not get more result for that reason we have to use this type of props so that is a bolster and a bedroll like this this is the diamond pose here we are using two bolster and bedroll also it's a rigid diamond posture this is a basic basic posture for many other asana and meditation so well suited for the meditation pose we have to adapt 
uh, this kind of posture automatically quietening our mind. First, we have to identify the cause, uh, causative factor. So, if you are having a more stress, that is why you are having this diabetes mellitus means we have to um, stabilize this posture at least 2 to 3 minutes, Bhatmasana, Sugasana or Vajrasana. So, uh, this is uh, well suited for the meditative, meditative uh, meditation posture also. It is strengthen the thigh muscles and the cough muscles. So, this is the diamond pose. Then Bhattakonasana. Here in the Bhattakonasana is a very good uh, treatment for the diabetes mellitus. So, if uh, mainly we have to rest your knee on and the floor if not possible means you have to insert some pillows or a wooden block under your knee then rest your knees comfortably then uh, hold your back and uh, give the flap movement. So, with this posture destroys all disease and remove the toxins from the body. So, what happens if you are giving them a uh, flap uh, movement as uh, the, the butterfly pose. So, it uh, get rid of almost all the toxins eliminate from the body. The Pachimutanasana, this is a sitting forward bending posture. This is um, uh, initially we have to use this kind of props, we have to rest your head comfortably, then we have to adapt this posture with uh, um, uh, equipment that is uh, props, bolster. Then after the 2 or 3 weeks, we have to remove the one uh, bolster and rest your head comfortably. Here this position what happened it pressurizes the abdomen region. So, automatically it massages the pancreas. So, here it um, fluctuation of the sugar level is also diabetics is uh, um, maintained here by adopting this suppose increase the gastric fire help healthy digestion also. So, here Pachi means back, Uthan means stretch that is this asana give you a complete stretch to the entire back of the body from the skull down to the heads. So, start with the bolster then again we have to adapt the final posture the other um, um, image is shown here. This asana is having effects on the whole of the spinal cord complete nervous system and all the organs and the glands including pancreas. For diabetes it is has a great curative effect. It reduces the abdominal fats, uh, fights intestinal worm, worms, improve the digestion and functioning of the endocrine glands. So, if you are taking the medicines, the particular disease won't be get cured. But if you are taking the one asana practice, it will cure diabetes, good for the diabetes, especially for this type of asana, curing for the diabetes, uh, good for the obese and uh, good for the spine and other related problems. Likewise, if you are having the regular practice of yoga, definitely the uh, asanas is a more part uh, will give more benefit. Then the complementary posture of the Pachimuttanasana is Ushtrasana that is a camel pose. We have to uh, keep our elbow comfortably with the help of some kind of props showed here that is a bolster and bedroll and a low open stool. That is we have to uh, uh, put your elbow comfortably and uh, from the chest you have to bend backward and uh, uh, reach blood supply again. Uh, in the new, uh, from spine uh, from hip to uh, head region. Here one more special uh, here by giving the backward movement if um, this uh, asana is uh, helping for um, other uh, condition like um, heart attack and all. So, sometimes we have a small blockages um, uh, without uh, surgery we have to take treatment means um, really by, uh, by doing this pose we have to uh, remove the um, blockages by adopting this pose uh, maintain 3 to 4 times daily. So, you have to take uh, 4 to 5 times. Uh, first you have to maintain 1 or uh, 30 seconds from 1 minute you have to hold this pose then release again again you have to do 4 or 5 times. What happen if you are having the diabetes means it leads to complications of uh, coronary heart diseases. So, we have to prevent such a consequences also. For that reason, we are giving this type of asana. It tones completely spine and it tones larynx, heart and neck muscles by giving the back by the bending and it tone the pelvic organs also stimulate the all endocrine glands also. So, here the sitting position again the gomukasana that is cow face position. So, cow face position this is also very good for treating the diabetes. 
here slowly uh, the stretch the pancreas or massages the pancreas the food absorption is increasing then ardha machindra asana this is a twisting asana so murka asana so this is a bharadvajasana ardha machindra asana both first you have to adapt the bharadvaja bharadvaja asana then the third week fourth week you have to change ardha machindra asana so this is half spine twisting posture half spine twisting posture one of the best asana for diabetic patients the pressure exerted by this asana on the pancreatic region increases the circulation it stimulates the functioning of the pancreas also it stimulates the spinal nerves and useful for the back ache as well as improve the digestive power also not only for the diabetes but also for the obese and back pain and digestive disorder so 4 to 6 rounds at least we have to do this practices is a great effect on the pancreas and other glands such as adrenal thyroid glands due to the stress uh, factor we have uh, diabetes mellitus uh, for stress factor also this is advised uh, um, to get rid of uh, stress then janu sirasana that is forward bending asana so you have to rest your head comfortably like this so with uh, using a uh, props a bolster blanket and a low open stool help to bend forward easily and try to touch your forehead comfortably on the bolster it tones completely spine and abdomen organs also the here they one more benefit by giving the pressure on the abdomen uh, improve the blood flow to the pituitary pineal gland thyroid and the parathyroid also so tones adrenal and islets of longer hands also it reduces the stress and the strain mainly it relieves the physical and the mental strain so loosen the joint of upper part and lower extremities also it narrows the waist region then come to the prone position so this is abdomen lying position called makrasana that is a crocodile posture uh, it it gives complete relaxation to the body as well as mind so it relieves the fatigue also so one of the causes we already seen so it relieves the fatigue that is a lack of oxygen by adopting this pose that is come under the relaxative category so next one is a bhujangasana so this is the cobra posture that is a serpent pose called bhujangasana so this asana stretches the front portion of the body which squeezes out the impure of the blood from the abdominal region mainly once the posture is released the fresh oxygenated blood will rush into the abdomen region so strengthen the complete spine posterior spine muscles and the ligaments so cobra pose that is improve the spinal flexibility and strengthen the muscles in the arm and back also so it is a good for the mainly for the young girls relieving the menstrual irregularities and the constipation also then it stimulate the again thyroid parathyroid adrenal glands by and islets of longer hand by giving the stretch on the throat region it strengthen the joint of upper extremities automatically it tone up the hip and the thigh muscles then complementary of this posture is called shalabhasana that is locust posture that is um, complementary posture of shalabhasana is the reverse posture of bhujangasana which gives a backward bend to the spine it is recommended to practice the shalabhasana after releasing the bhujangasana so bhujangasana activate the upper area while shalabhasana activate lower waist area of the body so it activates the kidney liver pancreas abdomen area and all the organs of the lower part of the body it remove the constipation indigestion acidity gastrointestinal disorder also it brings the rich blood supply to the spine and the whole upper area then the next one is called dhanurasan bow posture the bow posture resembles an arts bow it strengthen the muscles in the back area mainly improve the posture and helps to gastrointestinal activities the pancreas that is abdomen area abdominal fat is reduced by adopting this posture and also improve the digestion 
it is stitches and the front portion of the body which excuses out the impure blood from the abdominal region by this pose also adopting this posture then complementary of this posture is called navasana improve the digestion power again strengthen the abdomen muscles it flexes and stretches the abdomen muscles so uh, expand the chest and the lungs and it tones hot adrenaline and eyelids of longer hands also loosen the joints of extremities reduce fat around the waist region thighs and arm and strengthen the neck also by adopting this posture then machyasana that is a fish posture is a machyasan this is super um, position is a very good asana start with one round and gradually increase to three rounds do not practice more than three rounds initially it gives a backward stretch to the cervical thoracic and lumbar regions of the spine and expands the chest fully it gives an excellent massaging effect on the abdominal organs the abdominal region is given a good stretch by adopting this posture this asana is called a fish posture because this position fills the lungs with air and also improving the stability to float in water so we are recommending for the swimming players it gives backward stretch to the cervical thoracic and lumbar uh, of the spine and it normalizes the function of the thyroid pineal and adrenal glands also and uh, good for the asthmatic patients also uh, generally we are giving and other respiratory disorders so this also sashangasana then adomukha machyasan <coughs> so this is a um, very good asana for diabetes uh, sit on the floor keeping your both legs to the sides uh, then bend back Uh, as well as uh, come to the laying position uh, that is um, <coughs> so this is an easy asana for diabetes supta virasan sit on the floor keeping your both legs to the side not too far and now bend back and come to laying position so breathe slowly and stretch both hands then automatically there will be the tremendous pressure on your stomach pulling inside by adopting this pose final pose if you are not able to keep the leg sideways you can keep the pillow and try to sit down on it but if you, if you are adopting this pose if you start the practice at the early age definitely we should avoid the genetic reason of diabetes it expands the chest and lungs tones heart and abdomen organs also and uh, loosen ankle knee hip shoulder mainly it uh, calm your mind quietening your mind so this is a halasan so this is um uh, pro this uh, here by adopting this uh, blow posture the pressure exerted by this asana on the pancreatic region stimulate the functioning of the pancreas so it helpful in reducing the obesity due to obesity reason we have to give this type of asana diabetes and disease of liver also this will also tone up the spine and nerves maintain the normal weight so some of the asanas are not doing means we have to give the preventive aspect so if the family is having that is a father or mother or a maternal uncle is having diabetes means definitely the due to the genetic reason uh, the next generation is also having this type of uh, diabetes mellitus hypertension and coronary heart disease so in such cases we have to treat with this type of uh, vigorous posture like uh, sarvangasan machyasan halasan and all surya namaskar 12 times so definitely we have to prevent uh, from the diabetes mellitus even genetic reasons also after attaining the 40 or 45 ages only the pre diabetic stage occur but uh, due to uh, um, genetic factor we should not avoid sometimes so better we have to take practice at the earliest stage from the family history means 
definitely we have to control uh, our uh, pressure, uh, blood pressure level, diabetic, everything and uh, such consequences uh, we should not invite also. So for that reason we are recommending some vigorous uh, practices uh, for the preventive aspect. Definitely we should not invite um, uh, diabetes uh, uh, type 1 or type 2 and all. So, Pavana Muttasana, this is also um, wind relieving pose. We have to give a slab um, movement, you have to give a kriya movement, that is action movement. We have to uh, sit and again bend, uh, swinging pose we have to give. So, automatically it gives the um, very good effect for the diabetes mellitus. So, this is a Pavana Muttasana, that is. Um, Kriya means action one of the meaning. So, we have to move uh, Kriya movement after that we have to release the pose. So, finally we have to adapt Savasana that is a corpse pose that is a Shanti Asana. It helps to reduce the stress and tension from the body as well as mind and it relaxes all the muscles and the nerves of the body. So, finally we have to give this. So, in between we have to concentrate IRT, QRT and uh, DRT also. So, pranayama, suggested pranayama that is the sectional breathing that is otherwise called mudra pranayama also. Nadi Shuddhi pranayama that is the balancing pranayama, surya vedana and bastrika brahmari. So, here preventive aspect we have to give the bastrika and brahmari and mudra pranayama that is we have to take regular practice of all ages that is uh, uh, part by part breathing, uh, the abdomen breathing, thoracic breathing and uh, clavicle breathing. Combined the three, three process is called uh, yogic breathing. The second one is Nadi Shuddhi breathing that is um, balancing flow of prana and uh, separate uh, video I have put here uh, Surya Bedana, Nadi Shuddhi and all. Um, then Bastrika that is a preventive aspect we should give but uh, uh, diabetic, known diabetic patient means we have to give the slow and steadily. So, uh, we have to raise our arms up, inhale then down exhale. Likewise, we have to give low, medium and high speed. We have to give slowly one by one. Then Brahmari Pranayama that is uh, uh, stress relieving Pranayama. So, one by one we have to see the Mudra Pranayama. Uh, we have to adapt in sitting position and then uh, concentrate on the abdomen region uh, like Om Chanting we have to uh, take a breathe in, breathe out, then take a uh, deep breath, chant Aghara. Again, you have to concentrate on thoracic region, change the Chinmaya Mudra and place on your middle part of your thighs and take a deep breath, chant Uhara. Again, the third one is called uh, Adi Mudra, place on the navel region. Again, you have to concentrate from throat to head region. We have to take chanting that is the im. After that you have to release and again sit, sit in position, sitting position, adopt you have to chin mudra, silently we have to do the sectional breathing. Take a deep breath in, breathe out and after that normal breathe in, breathe out. Concentrate on your abdomen region only. So, take if you are uh, having an inhale, abdominal wall coming outside and slowly secure abdomen during the exhalation. Likewise, you have to take breathe in, breathe out 5 times. Then we have to take the second one is called thoracic breathing. So, that you have to take a breathe in, breathe out. Then you have to move your arms back and bring back the in, uh, arm in same position while inhale and exhale. So, next one is called that is uh, Adi Mudra with uh, um, breathing that is called uh, clavicle breathing. So, you have to inhale and raise your both shoulder, raise your clavicle bone up then slowly down likewise. Separate uh, pranayama demonstration um, will be uploaded here. Uh, you have to see the uh, pranayama session. Uh, one by one, you have to give Nadi Shuddhi, then Surya Bhadana. Then Bastrika is also a preventive aspect. Brahmari is a stress relieving pranayama that is producing honey bee sound. 
So after taking the practice, Brahmari helped in diabetes calming effect on mind, brain and the nervous system. By doing this cycle of 4 to 5 times in a day, it increases the oxygen level and reduces the carbon dioxide levels in the blood. So pranayama is a stress relieving factor. Uh, so, definitely uh, this uh, pranayama will have a more effect on diabetic patients. Then cons next practice is called mudra practice that is our five fingers are representing five elements. So, this is uh, panja tattvas. So, thumb finger is called fire, index finger is called yar, middle finger is called sky, ring finger is called prithivi and little finger called water. So, imbalance of the five elements only we invite diseases. So, for that reason we have to balance the imbalance element. So, we have to balance the imbalance element. If you are adapting chin mudra means what happened? Index finger touch with the thumb finger. So, automatically it is joining the two fingers it balance the element level. So, this is a chin mudra. So, by adopting this post, mind become calm and cheerful. So, it nerves of the brain get stronger by adopting this post. So, by due to the stress factor, due to the tension, we should invite diabetes meditas than uh, pressure that is the high blood pressure, uh, uh, hypertension and all. So, we have to adopt this mudra and concentrate on your breathe in, breathe out automatically your mind should become calm and cheerful. Then this is a Pankaj Mudra. So, Pankaj Mudra. So, generally what are the duration of the Mudra means minimum 8 minutes. So, you have to extend up to 16 minutes. In between you want you have to take uh, relax and again you have to continue. So, maximum 16 minutes we have, um, uh, uh, we have advised. So, 8 start with the 8 minutes. So, this is a Pangaj Mudra. By keeping the finger like lotus, the Pangaj Mudra is formed. Okay. So, in this Mudra what happened? Thumb and the little fingers touch each other. So, by doing this posture what happened? Distribute the energy to all parts of the body. So, stimulate the nervous system and distribute the energy to all parts of the body. Then Apana Mudra. So, here the Apana Mudra. So, it pacifies the air disorder or diabetes. So, by joining the tips of middle and ring finger and thumb and putting the pressure, Apana Mudra is formed. Index and little finger are to be kept straight. So, without bending we have to keep this mudra, without bending of our fingers. So, this is not only good for the diabetes but also for the constipation and pacifies the disorder of diabetes. So, then Varuna mudra or Jala mudra. So, Varuna or Jala mudra. So, the little finger symbolizes the water, water element for joining and fire element, water and fire element. So, front tips of the little finger and of the thumb are joined to make Varuna Mudra. So, here by adopting this Mudra is um, good for the diabetic patients and the blood disorder or disappear. So, what happened the diabetic patients automatically after some uh, years uh, known diabetic patients uh, for uh, uh, 10 years or 15 years uh, uh, neuropathy problem, blood disorder problem that we have to prevent uh, by adopting this Mudra. So, this is a Vayu Mudra. So, this is a very good Mudra. The bent forefinger is placed at the base of the thumb. So, it reminds three fingers are kept straight. So, relieve the gastric pain as well as the gastritis um, uh, issues also. And we have to adapt this Mudra at least four to eight minutes daily. Then, uh, next practice is called a meditation. So, after uh, Mudra and done, we have to take a meditation practice that is um, um, based on the convenience of the individual constitution, physical and physiological uh, conditions. We have to uh, take the meditation practice 15 minimum at least 20 minutes you have to take a practice. Home meditation or cha that is silent meditation or any other uh, classical traditional method of med meditation uh, you have to adapt. So, it is done by having OM as the object of a meditation. You can take any object whatever you like. It means a state of consciousness. What is, what is a meditation? 
it is it means state of consciousness it is a methodological trick systematic analysis and trick to calm down the mind is called meditation so practice of meditation is especially useful in management of stress so especially for diabetes concentration on pancreas during the meditation whichever organ where whatever the organs may be which organ is affected you have to focus on your uh, uh, organ that is a pan here the diabetes meditation means you have to image your pancreas like this so my pancreas is functioning normally now so before comparing uh, practice uh, now i am feel comfortable likewise so concentration on pancreas during the meditation practice has shown positive effects on sugar levels so if it means a heart attack means that you have to concentrate on your uh, heart during the meditation automatically it a good functioning likewise you have to visually imagine your on uh, uh, organs and uh, concentrate on the particular organs and uh, do the practice of meditation then one can even visualize the proper functioning of the pancreas proper insulin administration in the body can help in treatment of diabetes so silent meditation on any other med basic med med level you have to take with the uh, master you have to take a practice diet is also one of the component in our um, um, principles so here we have to maintain a desirable body weight Uh, for that reason uh, we have to reduce the total fat and saturated fat that is a uh, butter ghee and all eat natural foods more eat more fresh fruits and vegetables and uh, avoid uh, spicy and uh, oil food starch food eat more fibers and protein content so special advice you have to take from the um, dietitian they have to follow the diet also so Uh, with this uh, i have to sum up uh, so far we have um, discussed what is diabetes mellitus and what are the its types and general causes and general symptoms of the type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes and yogic management of um, um for a uh, yogic management for the diabetes mellitus it comprises of starting with the om chanting and followed by surya namaskar and asanas pranayama mudras so you have to add that uh, relaxation technique also in savasana position i showed the previous image that is end with uh, drt that is a deep relaxation technique that we have to end with the session here i am we are suggesting only the general module of uh, asana first you have to find out uh, what is the causative a factor for the individual so if obese means you have to concentrate more part in the asanas if you having the stress for that reason you are inviting diabetes means you have to concentrate more pranayama and relaxation technique so here we are suggesting the general module for the diabetes meditus but you have to take Uh, according to your physiological and uh, physical conditions you have to modify the asanas using with the props especially for the therapeutic aspects and definitely you will see the improvement for initially we have to take a practice uh, three months we should not get more effect but if changes occur in your body definitely you get, will get rid of from the diseases also but you have a take a practice continuously so that is why we are giving a practice a one among the habit of the day day to day schedule um, thank you very much uh, we'll see the next video thank you